Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I've got a project that I'm working on. It's actually two projects, but uh, I'm going to kind of show you what I'm doing. Uh, this is a 91 325i convertible. I want to lower the steering wheel height a little bit to help me see the instrument cluster a little bit easier. The lower portion gets blocked off by the steering wheel a little bit at, when I'm driving comfortably. Um, that being said, I also need to pull my instrument cluster out uh, to reflow some solder into it. If you're curious on how to do that, check the, um, the little box that'll pop up right there. That'll take you to the video that I made on how to do that. Um, and you can learn about reflow and solder. Um, that being said, I'm gonna jump into this uh, and see if I can get this steering wheel height lowered. I'm not gonna go into doing the cluster. I'm just gonna show you guys about this steering wheel for now. All right, enjoy, thanks. All right, so um, right now, uh, this is about where, well, hang on. That's about where it normally would sit, and I can't see any of that lower stuff there for the like the inspection or the fog lights, park brake, all that stuff. Um, and it just feels like I'm reaching way high to, to drive this thing. So let me give you the quick rundown. Um, this isn't going to be like a full in-depth how-to, but I do want to show you the, the key takeaways. All right, so again, 91 airbag car. This is an automatic, so it may be different on other models. There's a trim panel here. That trim panel's got one, two, three Phillips head screws, and then it's got uh, one and two uh, 10 millimeter bolts that go here. Then that trim panel, uh, the lower trim panel at the back, um, it pretty much falls out at that point. Um, then there's this, uh, big pad that goes across here um, you got two 10 millimeter bolts that hold it there and three 10 millimeter bolts that hold it on that side get all that stuff removed then the next thing you need to do is loosen this nut this nut is a pain in the rear end heat it up if you need to but um, this is the direction for loosening it this is the direction for tightening it Again, it's a pain in the rear. I had to heat it up with a torch and soak it with uh, penetrating oil to finally get it to break loose. <clears throat> Sorry, my allergies. Um, once you get that done, there is a 13 millimeter that goes right up in there somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can get the camera on it, but uh, see if it'll focus right there. That is right beside this little knuckle and it's like a plate above it. That needs to come out and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna push forward on the steering wheel and you don't have to take your airbag off I just didn't want this thing blowing up in my face so push on the steering wheel and jiggle now it'll be really really tight but it should push forward once you get it pushed forward then it'll drop down and then what you'll see is you've got these safety screws or safety bolts that are right here this is, uh, this is one of our modifications we're going to do to get this thing where it's a little bit adjustable. Um, so you're going to take these out. <clears throat> the easiest way that I've found to take them out is to kind of grind down a flat side on each side. That way you can, get a, you can get a pair of channel locks to bite it pretty good. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to notch out these little mount tabs. That is where these little plastic bushings... <clears throat> are supposed to go in something like something like that and they go straight up and bolt down and they're done so what we've done is we've got rid of those which is actually about I don't know three eighths of an inch to half an inch thickness um, and then we're putting on just standard bolts so that alone is going to drop us yeah you know, maybe an eighth of an inch total and then on top of that we're going to dremel this out and actually, I used a, um, a burr bit on an air grinder that's, uh, that, that fits in here perfect because you're not going to get a drill in this space, really. So burr bit on an air grinder worked really good to just notch these little things down a little bit. So basically what happens now is the steering wheel goes in and it can drop down just a hair and then we're going to tighten it up. So let me, uh, let me get all this tightened up and kind of show you what I'm talking about. All right, also before I tighten everything down, I wanted to add that this is the 13 millimeter bolt that goes into the back above that knuckle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this little washer. It's just a, 
it's just a lock washer it doesn't have to be a lock washer but i'm going to place that between that plate and the mount on the dash and the only reason i'm doing that is so that when i tighten that bolt down it doesn't try to pull the steering wheel plate up it'll it'll give it more of a pivot point so i can tighten it down and it won't affect out here this will still be able to move up and down okay all right so i got that 13 millimeter bolt in the back of the column it's back in there so now the column will no longer push forward or pull out but since i haven't tightened down these two 12 millimeter bolts that i installed on these tabs here where i replaced the safety ones um, the steering wheel as you can see has a little bit of adjustment in it which is all i needed um, basically it was sitting here now it sits here which doesn't look like a lot on camera but it should make the riding position the driving position a much much better so now all that's left to do is and you don't you don't have to take all this stuff loose to do this job i just i was messing around and trying to learn a little bit of different stuff so anyways all that's left to do is make sure i hold this steering column down in the lowest uh position and tighten these bolts up which i should be able to reach just fine with one of these ratcheting wrenches like so yep so i can get that on there and then on this other side yep i can get that on there so i'll just tighten all this stuff down and my steering wheel has now been dropped about a half an inch maybe three quarters of an inch in height and then tighten this up and put it all back together all right guys that wraps this thing up um i'm i'm very happy with the end result i can see my my entire instrument cluster through this opening in the top of the steering wheel um the height feels really nice um i think overall uh, it was probably about a half an inch drop which was was i would say perfect um i mean it could go an eighth or a sixteenth lower but i'm not pinching pennies over here this is this is way better than it was i can actually see my uh, service indicator and my part brake and you know my brake fluid lights and all that stuff down at the bottom of the cluster so very happy um, if you guys got any questions on anything that I did on the on this video uh, feel free to leave me a comment I'll try to get back to you uh, and try to get those questions answered um, I know this might not be the ideal process for everybody but for me it worked and hopefully it'll work for you if you want to try it thanks for watching